Hi, for a project I'm working on, I need a seven segment display LCD screen. And uh, this is a symbol I've got for it. And it's got, you can see it's got lots of pins on there. And there's also a driver chip, this one. You can see that it's got lots of these segment driver outputs. And they happen to go from 0 to 39. And there's also these backplane connections as well, 0 to 3. Uh, I could wire these up individually or I could just give them labels, but it's much better to use a bus capability within KiCad for this. And the way to do that is there's here, add a bus. So you can just click on that and then you can start drawing the bus. One thing you'll notice is when you start drawing the bus, it's got these right angles. You might not want that. So if you hit escape, it's optional really. You can constrain the drawing. It's currently horizontal and vertical, but I'm going to go to this 45 degree option as well. And then if I draw the bus, you can see that I can do this like that. I'm just going to go here. I don't have a lot of room on this page. I'm going to just click maybe here and then end here, double click. So there's my bus. If I want to, I could extend it as well. For instance, if I know that I'm going to be connecting to the LCD screen below it, I might do something like this. And then repeat again here. Go down here. And then just finish around here. Great. So I've got my bus drawn. Now I need to define the signals that are going to be on here. And all the definitions are done with labels. So just uh, using the L key to do that. I'm going to move my mouse over to the bus and then press the L button and give it a label. The easiest way to do this is to put everything in braces, curly braces. So like that. And inside there is going to be the names of all the signals. So for example, I've got the backplane signals from 0 to 3. So they would be BP, open bracket. And then I can either do 0 dot dot 3 or I could do 3 dot dot 0. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, so there's my backplane signals. And then I can do space. And then I can do the other signals. So I've got the S ones as well. So S, open bracket. 39.0. I just prefer doing it in this sort of sequence. It doesn't really make a difference. And then, like I mentioned before, everything's got to be in curly braces. There, that's all done. If I wanted to, I could add individual signals in there as well. So within those curly braces, for example, I add VDD, VLCD, 0 volts. But I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to have that. And that's all you really need. If you want to, you can give a name outside the curly braces. I could call this LCD underscore bus like that. I'm not going to do that because this extends the name of the labels unnecessarily and I don't have enough space on my sheet. So for that reason alone, I'm not going to do that and just leave it like that. That's good enough. And then click on OK. And then just position that there. Hit escape and that's done. So back plane 3 to 0 and S39 to 0 are the signals that are available on this bus. One thing you can't do is just draw wires in the normal method and connect them because this is what happens. If I just click here and then double click to terminate there, if I zoom in, you can see that there's this box here. That means it's actually not connected. So that bus is actually doing nothing there. That's not the way to do it. There's two ways of doing it. One method I don't really like, and that is to right click on the bus and do unfold from bus. It's useful for seeing the signals, but it's a bit irritating to use because I'll show you what happens. If I select BP0, wow, well, it's kind of started there and that doesn't really help me. It looks a bit of a mess if I like terminate there. For that reason, I don't like that. The way you would use this is you would use this once and you know that the angle starts from here. So now I would undo that and move, predict where it's going to begin from, which is going to be here. Right click, unfold from bus and now select BP0. And now it's okay, it's done it the right place. Perfect. But that's irritating to do it like that. And then what I would have to do is press M, select that, press M, hit R to rotate and stick that somewhere like that. That's done. And now I'd repeat again by again, right clicking about here, click unfold, unfold from bus and do that. And um, so I don't, I don't really like that at all. I'm going to undo that. Okay. The better way of doing that is to use a Z button which gives you like a diagonal without doing the unfold and then later labeling the signals. So if I hit the Z key, it, it just drew that. And now 
I can click as many times as I want to, and it's given me all these lines and I can hit escape. All of these lines, had they been positioned there, you can see now there's no box there, blue box there. That's actually a, a good connection. So that's what you want. Again, move to where you think it's going to begin from. Hit the Z key. And now, at least for the others, you, you can judge by seeing where, where it's going to land. So there. There, they're all done. Hit escape. And now I can just join these up like that. Just using normal mouse click. So that all kind of joins together. There, they're all done. But obviously we don't know which connections these are. So I'm going to have to now label them. Just move to anywhere here. Hit the L button. And give that in the name of BP0. Because that's what I want there. OK on that. Move it to where I want it. And I want to rotate that obviously as well. Just put it there. OK, so that's done. To do all the rest, I can actually just hit the insert key. Hit insert. You can see what it's done there. It's just plonked the next increment value up. Now I just press the M button. And it's attached to the mouse. And now I can hit the R key and place it wherever I want. The keys I'm using are insert, then M, and then R. We hit the insert key. Now I press the M to move it. Now I press R to rotate and place it somewhere. And then again, insert key, M, R, and then drop it somewhere. That's much quicker than the unfold from bus method, which I mentioned earlier. And you can actually speed this up as well a little bit. Like for example here, I mean, I've got tons of connections here to do. I've got 40 of them to do. Um, so the trick is I just, just go anywhere here and hit the Z key and repeat that maybe five times. That's good enough. Hit escape. Um, so I've got five of them there. Grab them all. Control C to copy them. And now I just hit M to move these particular ones to where they need to go. So they obviously need to go here. And now do Control V and do the next lot. Control V and the last lot go here. Great. The exactly the same thing here as well. So hit the Z key anywhere about here. And then repeat again. One, two, three, four, five. Hit escape. Grab all of these. Control C so that they're copied. And now hit the M key to move these particular ones to where they need to go, which would be here. And now Control V will just put the next batch there. You can speed up the joining up as well, exactly using the exactly same method. So I'm just going to click here to here and just repeat this maybe five times. Three, four, five. Hit escape. Copy those. Control C. And then Control V. Brilliant. Um, one other thing before I forget to mention it, is that thing that I did here using the insert key to repeat things, that won't work always if you're using a laptop because sometimes laptops don't have an insert button or it might be overlaid with like a delete key and things like that and it, it just doesn't work. So the solution for that is to go to tools, sorry, preferences. Yep, go to preferences here. Under preferences, select hotkeys, and then here just type repeat, because that's what the insert key does. Type repeat here, and you can see here under schematic editor, repeat last item. You can see I've actually changed mine to Alt I. So I actually wasn't pressing the insert key, I was pressing Alt I. You can just double click that, and then press the key that you want to use. Uh, I, I've got Alt I in there, as you can see. All right, we've got all these connections wired up. They need the labeling done now. I'm just going to move anywhere here and hit the L button and give that the label S0. And rotate and just place that wherever you think that is suitable. And then, like I mentioned before, you've got to do the Alt I M there. Alt I or insert. Place it wherever you want. And just keep repeating that insert and then M. Great.
and that's all done and uh, same thing here again so I'm going to just do insert then M and this time obviously I need to rotate these let's place them somewhere like that I am R and this is it complete you can see that all of the pin connections are now made all the way onto that chip here I connected two of the bus connections together using a resistor I just needed to do that for my circuit and the other end of the bus uh, the signals go to the LCD seven segment display there are some unused connections on the bus and I've just used the no connect press the Q button to place those and obviously after this is done you should run an electrical rule check ERC using the inspect electrical rules checker just to make sure that everything is correct the current version of KiCad that I'm using version 7 it does have a bug in it where even if you've got this no connect it flags errors on these connections it doesn't like the fact that bus connections have been defined but not being used so either you have to live with that error or you should just remove those off the bus for now until that fix is implemented i hope it was useful thanks for watching